Hallelujah. Right. And if you think I'm joking, just ask my son. He will not try to exercise with me. He will not try to keep up with me because he knows it's insane. It's insanity. He can't do it. And nobody else has ever been able to do it. Why? Because the Spirit of God that lives inside of me. Yes. Amen? Did you find Acts chapter 2? <laughs> Verse 16. Let's, let's begin. Okay? Now, again, this, this is the power of Pentecost. This is a prophecy about the Holy Spirit in the days that we are living in right here, right now. And this started on the day of Pentecost. So it's not something God's going to do. This is what we are living in right here, right now. Verse 15 says this, But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says the Lord, or says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. So, so God is pouring out of his spirit upon all flesh. Now, I'm going to get to this in a moment, but notice it does not say. Say it does not say. It does not say he's pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. It says he's pouring out of his spirit upon all flesh, which means on the spirit baptized believers is where the spirit of God is supposed to be pouring out of. See, we've taught it like this, that all flesh, everybody is, you know, the spirit of God is being poured out upon all flesh. That's true to a certain degree. But this scripture is talking about God pouring out of his spirit upon all flesh. Okay, God is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. But how is he doing that? He's doing that by pouring out of you. See, that's why I tell you, friends, you have to be cognizant of who you are, what you have, and what you can do. When you come on a scene, what's happening? The spirit of God is pouring out of you. Can I say this to you? You're never in a situation where you are, you can never say that there's nothing I can do. You are never now as a born again Christian in a situation where you say, well, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're in a hopeless situation. There's nothing we can do. No. The Spirit of God, God Almighty, in the person of the Holy Spirit, the creator of everything that exists, of this galaxy, of this universe, and all of the galaxies and universes and solar systems that exist, that God that created all of that lives inside of you. Yeah. Amen. So you are never, ever, ever void or short of his power or his presence or anything that God is. Now, the attributes of God, his omniscience, his omnipresence, his uh, 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 omnipotence, his all-powerfulness. Now, those are attributes of God. I'm not God, but because I'm one with him, I am a participator, I am a partaker, I am a possessor of those attributes. Yes, that's right. Amen. Amen. And that's why, friends, I tell you, and that's why I spent a whole time uh, ministering to you the message of our ministry is the ministry of the Spirit. You know, we focus on healing and gifts and all that stuff, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you just focus on Him and understand what you are ministering, you're ministering the person of Almighty God. You're ministering the very life of God which is enough to take care of every situation, of every circumstance, for every single person on this earth. Do you realize you as an individual, see, what does this scripture say, John 14, 12? It says, he, the individual believer that believes on me, will do the same works. So your capacity as a Christian is Jesus Christ, who, when he came this earth, was to show us the Son of God. Now, I just got kicked out of 99% of churches just by saying that. But I said what the Bible says. And we, we, don't, we won't dare say that. We're afraid to say what the Bible says. Well, I wouldn't say. Well, I wouldn't say that I can do the same works of Jesus. Well, I wouldn't say that, you know. Well, then you're not going to experience that. Until you come into agreement with this word. Now, it's there. It's there. You don't have to get God to do it for you or give it to you. It's there. All we have to do is say amen to that. Amen. 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 See, so just like you said Amen. God says, okay, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You say, amen. amen. Greater is he that is in me, 1 John 4, 4, that he is in the world. You say, amen. 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 You see that? that that's, how, that's how you, I, I said this on Facebook this week. How do you appropriate all that Jesus has done at the cross at Calvary for you and, and what he'll do through you? How do you appropriate that? Okay, here comes a great revelation. You ready for this? Thank you, Jesus. Did you catch that? Did you miss it? Better write it down. 